Anaphase begins when the cohesin proteins which surround sister chromatids and hold them together. These proteins are broken by a separase enzyme, a type of protease, which breaks one of the subunits of the cohesin complex. Once freed from the cohesins, the sister chromatids can be pulled to the opposite poles of the cell. Separase is inactivated as it is bound to securin to form a securin separase complex. While these proteins are bound together, separase cannot act on the cohesin complex. The formation of this complex is required for separase to fold properly. So although securin inactivates separase, its binding to it is required for later separase action. The securin protein will remain bound to separase until it is targeted for destruction. And this happens when two components of the anaphase promoting complex, the APC protein and CDC20, when these are activated, this activation only occurs when the chromosomes are aligned properly, because if chromosomes are aligned improperly, this could cause an irregular segregation of chromosomes, which could cause uh, a cancerous aneuploidy. As a result, there is a spindle checkpoint, which requires the proper tension in the sister chromatids, assuring that only one will be pulled to each of the opposite poles. Only after this spindle checkpoint has been passed because of a proper alignment of chromosomes can APC and CDC20 target securin for destruction, which then frees separase to act on the cohesins. And once the cohesins are broken, then the sister chromatids are free to move to opposite poles of the cell.